certain colleges are doing to make sure tomorrow's workforce is prepared to handle the energy challenges for the future. The launch of a new offshore wind tech center quickly follows federal investment in the industry, and one Washington company replaces a 54-year-old HVAC unit to achieve LEED Gold status. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello and welcome to your Daily Energy Report for Friday, February the 11th. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you the latest Daily Energy news. Leading off, the Purdue School of Engineering and Technology in Indianapolis is launching a new degree program called Energy Engineering. The degree combines chemistry, mechanical engineering, physics, and electrical engineering classes. The track directly caters to the need for a well-educated workforce in the evolving energy sector. In accordance with national calls for improvements in energy in the green workforce, a number of universities have created a similar degree program. For example, the University of Georgia boasts a new environmental engineering program. Following the recent announcement of greater investments in offshore wind energy by the U.S. Department of Energy, GAMISA has teamed with Northrop Grumman to launch a new offshore wind technology center. The center strengthens the alliance between the wind giant and America's largest shield builder. By working together, teams will be able to address turbine reliability, maintain low maintenance on equipment, and minimize the cost of generating power. And finally, a Washington company has earned the LEED Gold certification from the U.S. Green Building Council for replacing a 54-year-old heating and ventilation unit in its headquarters. Avista's five-story building is being renovated with HVA system upgrades, asbestos removal, ceiling replacements, and installation of energy-efficient lighting and windows. All upgrades are expected to save over 1.4 million kilowatt hours of electricity and reduce the company's energy costs by $149,000 annually. The LEED certification was achieved for HVAC upgrades that use an existing well water system to cool the building rather than a mechanical system. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in next week to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack, your Chief Conversationalist, wishing you a fantastic weekend.